What's up guys, it's Jeff Ray here, featured guest host with Weld.com. And on today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to weld on a header collector. Here in front of me, we have one of the headers to this Ford Bronco that I have here. What we're gonna be doing is welding this four into one collector to this set of headers. As you can see, the only place you have to weld is around the outside here. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to weld the star piece into all four pieces of tubing. And then you can take the collector, slip it over the top, and completely seal weld this thing. We're gonna start with welding in the star piece here. They also make a cone piece that can get welded in here to help the transitional flow of the exhaust gases within the collector. The star is gonna fill the whole center void here, and then we're also gonna weld out between the cracks here. Let's get at it. So today, we're gonna be utilizing 100% straight argon. So we're TIG welding on stainless steel. We're gonna be utilizing the Everlast Power TIG 210 EXT as well. We're gonna run this stuff on DC negative, we're gonna be operating with a foot pedal with the high freak TIG start. We got 45 amps there. We'll turn it up to 52 just to have a couple of more amps to play with. Turn my post follow up, five seconds. Should be good. We'll get this thing tacked in here. We got some 308L 1 16th wire and some E3 332 tungsten with the MK14 Furic cup. Now, we just gotta get this thing completely welded out and then we'll be ready to mock it up on the Bronco here and get the collector tacked on there. Got the star welded in now. Now I'm gonna come and weld through the crack right here where the two pipes merge together. I'm gonna weld out and then up about a half inch or so as well. Gives me something to tie back into nice when I slip that piece over it. So let's get at it. So when I'm doing this, I'm using a thicker piece of wire I don't have a purge on the tubing, so I'm just trying to keep my heat directed to the wire and not burn into the sidewall of the tubing to prevent sugar on the inside. When I went to weld in the crack here, I went ahead and grabbed a piece of 3AL eighth inch thick stainless filler wire. That way it's easier to fill that gap and I wanna bring it as close to the surface as I can because that collector piece is gonna be higher up, not so far down in that corner, as well as the thicker material will help me keep the heat out of the tubing and doesn't allow me to sugar it when I'm putting that little bit of material in there. I'm trying to keep it on the actual piece of material and not try to burn through the tubing. So now that we've got the welds done, we're gonna take the header from the bench and we're gonna put it on the truck to check the fit and mock up the header collector. Now I'm gonna take the collector, mock it up on the exhaust to the header itself and see how that fits. Before I got all these pieces of pipe fit to this point, I had to start somewhere. I had to start with the header flange and all this material, which I got from stainless headers. This is a full kit, comes with all the stub out pieces off of the header flange, comes with about a dozen 180 degree bends, the collector itself, the star for the merge and everything. So essentially, we wanted this to come out of the fender here and then the exhaust to run down the side. So what I did was I mocked up where I'm gonna have the exhaust located. I took a clamp, welded it to my stand here, which can hold my pipe and I can rotate it within that clamp. Essentially, this is gonna act as my exhaust. From there, I clamped the collector piece on here 
Once I had that clamped on there, I plumbed out the first header, which is gonna be the tightest fit in getting this header in and out of this truck. So I plumbed that one first and tacked it off here. Made sure I was able to get this header in and out. I did have to remove the one shock absorber here uh, in the perch as well, but two bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then the two on the perch. Four bolts to only have to remove to take this header off. Pretty simple, so we went ahead and did so. Turned out really nice. Really pleased with how this is looking. Got some big old monster tires on here, so this will be right in your face as well. We've got the mock-up exhaust here located. We're gonna go ahead and clamp it to the collector. kick it around a little bit, get it in the right spot there. Now, we should be able to tack this thing off, completely seal weld it out 100%, and we have ourselves a header for a 429 big block Ford and this old Bronco here. Let's get this thing tacked and get it welded out. Got it all tacked off now. We're gonna be doing the same design on the other side. What I went ahead and did already was I laid these cut lines out on the other four pieces for the other header, and then I'll take this piece and set it up on the other side so I can get the header set in the same exact place. I'll use my shim that I had on the body mount right here to keep it shimmed off of there, and that'll help me locate this thing as well. Then we'll have two identical headers. We got this thing tacked on. We're gonna go ahead and pull it off, put it on the bench, get a purge on it, make this last weld and we'll be done here. We got our header piece purging out now. I went ahead and got a holder piece, clamped the V-band to it so I could spin this piece easily to weld it out. You've seen before when I had it mounted on the bench here, I had some tabs that I actually broke out to the degree of the cylinder head. So when I took it off of the truck, I could fit the rest of the headers in the bench in the same position as they would sit in the truck. But that's not feasible for welding this out in that position. So I put it on a holder piece to put it in the bench, make it a little easier. I've had this thing purging for several minutes now. Got all these ports taped off, venting, so we can evacuate all the oxygen out of here and uh, make some nice welds. So let's get at it. All right, so we've got this thing tacked off. It's ready to be welded out now. I just wanna make a note. If you guys have never welded on a piece of form steel like this collector, when you actually go to burn tacks on it, because it's got tension on it, it's been manipulated, the steel has been deformed per se. When you start to heat it up, the material will actually move because of the, the form that it's in. So it's something you need to look out for when tacking something like this, it might open up a little more or something on you, but we're gonna start in the corners here. I'll weld through all these corners first, get those done, and then we'll come back and we'll just start going around the full outside of this thing and she'll be done.
That wraps it up for the passenger side header on this here Ford Bronco. We made this header collector weld on. I was glad to be able to show you guys how this process is actually done. I've never done it before myself. I've done uh, billet collectors where I had to weld each individual runner themselves completely 100%, which is actually really hard. This is a lot simpler. Let us know in the comments down below of some other ideas you'd like to see us do here at weld.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.